This is insane. The amount of wood we're gonna get from these trees. Look at this. 34 per hit. We're absolutely sorted now with resources. This is fantastic. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games Cakes and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, where I play 7 Days to Die modded with War of the Walkers mod. In the last episode, we had really a lot of luck. They're getting this huge bookstore, and we got a lot of blueprints. We're gonna go to the trade and make a lot of money out of that, but not necessarily today. What we're gonna do today is gonna tie up a couple of bits and bobs that we have to do, like the generator. We want to also complete the tradesman quest to get the extra tools. Go on a bit of a grind, because with those extra tools, we're gonna be making a lot of uh, progress in the resources, and we're gonna get, we, we, can, we are gonna be able to do a lot of forged steel and all that jazz. Anyway, I hope you you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode and if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started all right so first things first let's get fixed this is the only antibiotic i have so it better work i probably have honey but um if i didn't have honey did i have honey oh man i should have taken the honey anyway it doesn't matter so we got that infection cured um which is gonna at least help us for 50 minutes which is great so let's um see what do we need to progress in the quest we need to repair the wrench that is actually quite straightforward there we go let's repair the wrench nice oh and we got toolsmithing as a reward you see now they're toolsmithing one and i can't read that and you guys were saying it has something to do with my level most likely let me see here yes because i'm not level 30 so the amount of blueprints i must have scrapped is just insane so you probably <laughs> you probably should learn from my mistakes yeah if you see something great out check first if the skill that it is actually applying to is something that is out of 100 because then it shouldn't really be great out ever if it's something like that where you actually get an extra skill points uh added for free that costs you usually a lot because this one skill point here is saving us nine points which is absolutely amazing so let's put this away so we can keep it safe i don't know why this is there because that shouldn't be there we have over 203 206 blueprints now which is absolutely insane we also got the sledgehammer blueprint which we already know so we can scrap that and we got a sledgehammer which i'm gonna try out why not we're going to take it with us and see what it's all about and um then we should now gather forged iron 40 okay let's do this Let's see how much forged iron we can make here. We can make another 20. We have 17. Ooh, this is gonna be so close. And then we craft an iron fire axe, an iron pickaxe, and gather wood. Okay, this is easy. I think the forged iron... Okay, so it actually... So we might have to do 40 forged iron. That is interesting. Or oh, once we hit 40, I think it will stop counting. So once we have 40, it will be okay. So we need to go and get some basic resources with our cheap tools. Oh, I forgot. Genie Mac, I keep doing it. Look at that. Oh, it was... There it is. Yeah, Genie Mac. I have to stop doing that. So we're going to get a couple of resources now. Just so we can uh, get the forged iron going. So we can complete this quest. Because this quest is going to be extremely important to complete. Because it will give us the diamond tools, as far as I know, as a reward. Let me see here. Um, quest rewards, steel smithing skills, um, skill points. It doesn't say, doesn't say here. Item rewards, HD wrench, diamond tipped fire axe, diamond tipped. Oh man, and we get the HD wrench, which is going to be amazing. So this is definitely the class that I would recommend for anybody who just does not have patience in gathering materials. Because it is so insane. I think it goes straight to like 20 or 30 wood per hit when you get it, which is absolutely fantastic. So we all so now that we have the 40 wood if i throw this out yeah i keep the 40 wood so we only have to complete it once and then it will be there so the same obviously for forged iron so let me just collect a couple of um there we go yeah i totally lost it uh, let me collect a couple of iron and then we're gonna head back and we're gonna smelt them to get some forged iron look at this beauty over here we actually finished our coffee growth which is nice because this is gonna help us a lot in starting to get more and more resources quicker because we will just not lose it as much um, stamina. And also, once we have the diamond tools, the stamina doesn't really go down as much more as you would think, like with steel tools, for example. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so here, just more coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee is all we need right now for the moment. So let's do this, coffee. Um, I would say, how big are these fields here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five by five is 25. So let's just do 25 for now. Recipes, coffee seeds. Oh, yeah, I have to make them up there. All right, okay. So let me get a couple of more 
iron and then we're gonna go and get um, some more coffee and the other thing that we want to get let me see what is it we need as well for food it wasn't blueberries was it it doesn't have grapes in here so it was blueberries is there actually anything we can do with blueberries we can do blueberry pie which is with eggs Meh. i'm gonna have to look what food is easy to make that we can grow like in Valmod, for example, it's like grapes, yucca, and um, blueberries, and they make um, a, fr a salad, um, um, a fruit bowl, which is very, very handy. So that's a very, very good uh, piece of food. So here, I'm not sure yet in this mod what is actually a very good food for you to grow that you don't need to go constantly out hunting. So if you know, actually, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably figure it out in the next couple of minutes, but let me know anyway what are your personal findings, how you manage your food, if it's corn, something as basic as that, or what it is. So I just did a little test and one wood frame here, which burns for two and a half minutes, actually went through exactly 30 raw iron. It literally, as it hit zero, it just ticked over into the 30th. So I would say 29 is a safe number, 30, you might have that little bit of extra left over if you do like stacks of 60 and 90, you might not actually get that exact 30 every time. So it might be just like a little bit on it. But... Um, it's a it's a safe bet so if you want to calculate something yourself even with the timer in 16.4 as we've seen in Valmod it's actually pretty pretty bad because excuse me the timer says like oh it's like four seconds per raw iron or five seconds it doesn't show you the combined total here so um in this case um if we say for example 30 is going to be two and a half minutes that is 90 seconds by 30 so it's two seconds is it is that about right three seconds let me think now I aren't very good at on the fly numbers in my head. So we have 90 seconds and we got through 30 raw iron. So that is three seconds per, yeah, so three seconds per um, item. So in this case here, um, if we're gonna divide all these guys up here, it's 50. If we want to have 50 of those times three, that's 150. So 150 seconds is um, less than three minutes. So this is 90. And this is 180 seconds, so that's definitely enough um, for all this. You're going on 23 forged iron. I made a couple of coffee. I actually made about 30 and I found another two coffee seeds. So that way we're going to get closer to the 50. So next time we're going to get 64 and we're going to make the 50. And we're going to have like 15. So 50 coffee each time, which means 25 coffee is going to be for us every time to make coffee is going to be great. And the rest is just going to go back into seeds. So this is going to be brilliant. Um, let me see here. So... I'm gonna plant the, the blue bruise seed because I want more of those seeds. I will let that tree grow all the way and I will also uh, make sure I, I till the dirt. Um, we are also now at 40-40 so we can make an iron fire axe and iron pickaxe. So let's... Actually, we don't need to worry about leveling up smithing because it's the reward of that that we're interested in. So let's queue these up. Um, iron fire axe craft and iron pickaxe craft excellent and it's, it's gonna be higher than this but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drink the coffee there we go okay before we drink the coffee let's actually uh, drink some of this there we go and then maybe a little bit of blackberry juice very nice or actually we're gonna take the blackberry juice with us because once we're low on stamina we're gonna take it because I don't know if the coffee is going to be enough to keep us topped up with the iron pickaxe. We're going to see. So because iron tools are still very heavy on my stamina. So let's have a little look. Yeah, it's just going down. It's coming back about half a pip with each tick. And it's going down about two thirds of a pip. So it is definitely descending faster than it is uh, coming back up. Which means once we're actually down a little bit, we just um, drink our blackberries tea. Oh, we're getting a little bit hot. Um, ooh, chest armor. Where is that heat coming from? From the coffee, I would assume. Oh, plus three, plus one, plus one. So we're going to take some of these clothes off to cool down again. Yes, because that is the problem now. The coffee is going to make us actually too hot, I think. Caffeine buzz. Caffeine gives you an energy, keeping your stamina higher and core body temperature warmer. Yeah, core body temperature. That is a problem. Two stamina every two seconds. No, two stamina every second. There we go. 
Yeah, our temperature is dropping, so that's okay. It's working nice, so yeah, absolutely. And then if we get uh, really low, we're just gonna have our uh, blackberry juice and that's it. And if we have red tea, it actually counteracts um, the heat because I think the red tea has a cooling effect. There we go, look at that, we're barely going down. This is unbelievable, this is great. And how far before we get these tools? They are 12 seconds, then just another two and a half minutes and we're sorted, we got those diamond tools. Can't wait for them. Now we can drink this. Uh, does it give us a cooldown as well? Let me see here. Drink. I don't think it will give us a cooldown effect. Ah, it's just that, but that's it. Ah, well. So let's see how that buff actually uh, stands up with the steel axe, fire axe. Oh, this is nice. It's literally just an ever so slightly losing more energy than it's gaining back, but only just a tad, which is absolutely fantastic. So, fire, oh, pickaxe is nearly finished, 12 seconds. I just wanted to make some room so we can plant our bruise seed. So let me see here. One, two, three, bam, here. So let's just... Now, come on. Oh, my dear lord. There we go. We finished the quest. Excellent. <sighs> and bam. And here we go. Put the seed down. Love it. Now, this tree should be a lovely tree. If it is like these winter trees, it should be absolutely lovely. Now, we have... Yes, we finally got our diamond tip fire axe, which I think is tungsten. Yes. Okay, so let's do this. Now, let's see how these guys work out. Now, we have trees here. Look at the energy. Now, we still have the coffee buff, but you can see they only use a little bit more energy than... Oh, man, that was actually one of the trees I wanted to keep. Balls. <laughs> there we go. Let me see here. Nice. Okay. So, not these three, but this one here. Look how fast this is going. Like, And we're losing a little bit more energy or more stamina than before. But once we can make, like, a beer, we're going to be fine. So, hops and coffee is literally all we're going to do. This is insane. The amount of wood we're going to get from these trees. Look at this. 34 per hit. We're absolutely sorted now with resources. This is fantastic. And this should work just the same. Let's go over here and have a look. What is this? Yeah, this is um, sink or something. What is it? Let me see here. Yeah, sink fragments. We got also a chest which we're gonna open now in a second. I just want to get uh, the, some resources before it gets nighttime and they start running. Let's go over here. We have a couple of boulders left here and let's see what we're going to get from them. Now. Come on. Leave one here. There we go. Leave one here. So what happens now, It will uh, we collect things and they will go here. So I want to see how much we get from each. There we go. Come on. Okay, we're going to have to minimize this. This is so slow. Unbelievable. And of course want a little bit of lead excellent so now we have one in each which means uh, we can see exactly how much we're gonna get look at the speed of this that is insane just from one rock we got 161 stone 57 raw iron 53 lump of coal and 18 um, Peruvian margin powder that is insane and that was a very little effort. So we're gonna we're sorted. We're absolutely sorted now for resources, to be honest. Nice. Okay, better get back because they start running now and I don't want to be caught out here. Oh, we'll get one more stone and then we're off. Oh, look how fast it is, no problem. <laughs> oh man, fantastic. Oh, I have some visitors. No, wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. And they start running now any minute. Ah, balls. Okay, let's see if we can take care of them before they start running. There we go. Nice. Come on. I'm very conscious of the time. Anybody who's still standing is a threat. There we go. Come on. Oh, 
Okay. And now she. There we go. Oh, balls. Okay, that's it. <laughs> we nearly killed ourselves. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're gonna pick up the bodies in a second. That was actually really good timing. I can't believe I stepped in one. That was insane. <sighs> okay. There we go. We know that's gonna be two frames. Because 30, no, it's three frames. There we go. Oh man, that's that's amusing like that. I I stepped in one and then they stepped in one. I forgot to plant my coffee seeds as well. Oh my lord. That gave me fright, all right. But we're doing all right. We're all right. We're doing okay. Now, um, let's see what we got in the chest. Okay, this is our tradesman's chest. Let's put it here. Let's open it. Nice. Oh, baby, look what we got. Oh, I love it. I love this game so much. We got the advanced tool work workbench. Nice. It's gonna go right here on the other side. Look at that for beauty. And it is a different color. That is so nice. I love it. So you can actually see that it's special. Oh man, nail gun parts. Are you kidding me? Nail gun receiver, spiked club. Oh man, that is delicious. Machiti, oh nice. That is nice. Oh yes, there we go. Tungsten, forged tungsten, Not oh raw diamond. 10. Ooh, where are we gonna get diamonds from? Wow, okay, so let's read this. That is insane. Okay, we got a HD wrench as well, which is a heavy duty wrench. Um, with this wrench here, you can actually um, also repair this, but with the HD wrench, I think you can't upgrade um, wood. You see, oh no, you can't with the wrench in general. Oh okay, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, a wrench doesn't upgrade wood. Yeah, you have to do that with a hammer. That That's interesting. I thought it was only the HD wrench. But anyway, HD wrench, a lot better than the actual wrench. And we got loads of resources now. We got 1,500 dukes as well. That is just amazing. Okay, we're gonna go outside. And we're gonna... Oh, nice. And we're going to loot the bodies and chop them up for the resources. So I was really excited. I thought it was auger pads. Okay, we're gonna have to be very quiet. It's very loud. See, no mind, see, no mind, see, no mind, see, okay. Okay, they nearly got in over there. But that's not too bad. Where's our hammer? We don't have a hammer. Okay, we're gonna have to make a stone axe. What am I missing? Small stone. Are you kidding me? There we go. Oh, don't be loud.
That's just so we can repair the wood. We're going to put five coffees here in the end and 20 hops. Because I only had 20 hops. I suppose I could have made another five, but hey ho, I, I want to get rid of the coffee seeds as well. Oh, okay, you have to be careful, walk around, walk around it. Come on, repair the piece of water. There we go. I suppose we can do that from the inside as well. Well, except the corner ones. The corner ones are really, really hard to do from the inside because you can't reach them. Master yet in this game. Okay, now that we're able to collect so much wood, I mean, like a serious amount of wood, we should be able to make a lot of spikes. There we go. Nice. Okay, there's no mine here. We did really well in this episode for unlocking these tools. We can do such a serious grind now to get so many resources and get really well prepared like for the Horde Knight and even beyond that. I mean, we got a special workbench now as well. Nail gun frames, hello, what the balls. This is gonna be amazing. We actually can make a nail gun which can upgrade things so fast. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. This is just gonna be so much fun. Oh man, I can't wait. Spike club? Oh hell yes. Okay, what are you doing here? We should be able to get oh look at that. We can this is this is just too beautiful. We gotta make about a hundred. That should be enough. Okay. Seven minutes. There we go. Come on. It takes a while to become active here, which is really weird. Go. We'll probably have to get some clay as well. Oh, nice. Anyway, 
I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I'm whispering because I'm, I want to hear out. I'm in my base, though. I'm pretty safe. Anyway, I don't know why I'm still whispering. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. This was really, really good. As I said, we got the tools, we got the workbench, we got our hops sorted for our beer, but we can't actually make beer yet. So it's a pity, even though we can make the hops because the beer is locked behind the chemi station, which is locked behind chemi station. Let me see. There we go, which is locked behind sign seven, which we can't have yet. Oh my Lord, we have to be level 30 and then we can, oh, look at that, a science scholar bonus. Okay, I think with the science, do we have the science club? Oh, I thought we had the science scholar class. Scholar class training, yeah, we finished that. Oh, I thought we would get a, work a blueprint workstation, recipe rewarded, okay. Maybe we can do that. And maybe that can help us unlock certain things. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, future pass and happy gaming. Okay, let's see what these range, what this range can do. electrical components and electrical parts oh my lord this is amazing nice that is so cool and then we're just gonna collapse that whole tower that is absolutely fantastic nice okay let's get back out because it's getting a bit too risky at night oh look who's sitting in the corner look who's sitting in the corner there we go be a good zombie and die <laughs> Okay, let's loot him quickly and then let's get the hell out of here. Assuming there's no other zombie nearby. Oh, yes. This is amazing. Oh, man, it just keeps on giving. <laughs>